fashion style uh, and we do our best to yeah. uh, give some colorful commentary and some some suggestions so uh, Josh will uh, get us uh, the first guy uh, and let us know we'll give you a description of what that fella looks like or that person looks like mm -hmm. uh, and then we'll offer some advice and just kind of take our time uh, if you want to send in your photo and you would like some style consultation for your beard for your hair for your body for your attire style uh, then uh, shoot us a note at style at support at beardbrand.com. Style at beardbrand.com. Let us know a couple man. of things. Uh, again, if you are listening, if you're watching, you can look at the link in the, in the description below or look at the description below to find out what you need to send in. But yep. if you're hearing for the first time, uh, let us know your age. That's an incredible... Uh, yeah, that one's actually That's really a key important. component to the mm -hmm. journey of growing your beard and hair. Yes, let sir. us know how long you've been growing for. And let us know what your goal is. Absolutely. You reaching for a uh, year, as uh, Jack Malaco has uh, so completed? eloquently done, and he is almost done with. Ooh, or yeah. uh, are you just trying to, are uh, you finding some, uh, some struggles with the current style that you're maintaining, or are you looking to challenge your style? Uh, let us know uh, in the description, and we'll definitely... Uh, We'll get we'll back let to you. Know. And then yeah. we'll, if we do pick you to be featured in a live stream or Alliance show, we will uh, do our best to reach out and let you know that you'll be in uh, that episode so that you can tune in and get live style consultation right there. All right. And by the way, the reason I'm drinking a comedically big water bottle today is uh, <laughs> Austin ran out of clean water. So, yay. We yeah, water bottles yeah. Now. If you uh, if you look up uh, Austin Water Crisis 2018, you'll yeah. find more details out. It's just just it's, gotta boil our water. Exactly. Or drink stupidly big water bottles like me. <laughs> For those of you who don't want to go look it up, basically it rained too much and our water got real dirty. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. that's beyond that's the point. Let's it. get into these style consultations. All right. We can talk about water a little bit later. All right. Who ready? do we have on deck first? So Josh will read out the email that this guy has sent and then we'll uh Describe them for you listeners who aren't watching, and then we'll uh, give them style consultation. Yeah, right. let's go, man. Let's do it. Rock and roll. All righty. All right. Nice. 
Let me read his email for you is guys. Is this famous YouTuber PewDiePie? <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. Okay. It was worth a shot. Eh, close enough. He goes by Happy. Happy? Oh. Hello, smiley face. <laughs> well, he's happy. I'm 21 years old. Okay. This is my first beard and I've ever grown. Okay. I don't understand why my side beard, aka your sideburns, okay. isn't growing. Sure. Any tips? Thank you for making these great videos and shout out to everyone else there in the team. Right on. Hey, hey. All right. So let's take cool. a look at this. Uh, would you like to describe? Yeah. Let me give the description yeah. on this fella and then, uh, and then you can lead off on the consultation. Rock and roll. Uh, so uh, Peter is his name? Happy. Uh, happy. 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 H-A-P-P-Y. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Happy. All right. Doesn't he look happy? In he that? looks happy, man. He does look happy. He really does. Uh, happy is uh, is uh, rocking a uh, like he mentioned. This is his first beard he's ever grown out. Did he say for how long, Josh? I, I didn't. I don't think catch he that. said I'm how sorry. long. But he is twenty one years old. Okay, and this is his first one. Cool. Correct. So yeah, yeah so a few oh, months in for sure. Yeah. Uh, and he, you can tell like this is a beard that grows stronger towards the center of the face. Definitely. Uh, I don't know if I would classify it technically as a as a patchy beard. Maybe it is based on this photo. Yeah. I would uh, under, technically, it would be, but uh, it does grow strongest towards the center of the face. So the so this gentleman has uh, dark brown hair in his beard, but mm-hmm. he does have blonde colored hair in his head hair. I'm almost wondering if that's dyed, but I think it is dyed. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, long mustache, and it does look like he is maintaining that mustache, and yep. then. Uh, Pretty significantly big goatee as well. Yeah. A couple of patches where you would naturally expect them beneath the bottom lip, uh, but then the cheek sides area, or as he uh, mentioned, as Happy mentioned, uh, side the, beard. the side beard uh, <laughs> is uh, is relatively thin. It's pretty thin. Yeah. Uh, I, and I, I again, Almost stubble. It, it just by looking at this picture at a first glance, I would have, I would mm-hmm. have assumed that he was actually trimming that up on his own. But according yeah. to his email, he's letting us know that. Uh, that that's how it happens natural. So it is thin on the side, mm-hmm. uh, and then he's got his hair. It, it does look like a, like it is a little bit of a longer hairstyle. He is wearing yeah. headphones over his over this uh, over his head in this photo right now. Yes, uh, it looks like he's maybe in a studio booth of some sort, but he's got it slicked to the side, or almost back and almost side, almost to in the back side, fashion, right? Yeah, I'd say, right. Uh, but it is short on the sides. Again, mm-hmm. blonde color on the hair. Uh, we believe that's dyed, and then dark brown uh, in the beard. He's and actually mustache. in the chat. He, he is? is. Hey. Yes. Oh, hey. Happy. What's up? How you he doing, says man? It's not. It's not dyed. It's, it's not, not dyed. dyed. Okay, so he's got naturally blonde colored hair, and then he's got brown. Oh, that's, that's interesting. About the same color as Jack, oh. almost. Uh, yeah, but in the beard. In almost the beard. Almost like an auburnish yeah. brown. Yeah. And then a blue T-shirt again. He looks like he's uh, pretty casual, laid back, having fun, mm-hmm. wearing headphones, uh, <laughs> maybe in a studio. But uh, what's up, Happy? Good to see you in the chat, man. Yeah, man. All right, so let's uh, let's get in on this. All right. So happy, man. I would say you're going to want some intentionality with this. I would say don't worry too much at 21 years old about those side, as you call the side beard, but the uh, the cheeks, man, don't worry about them right now. For right now, I would say shave those while they're still kind of coming in and while they're still a little bit weaker because you've got some serious dense growth in that mustache in that goatee area. It reminds me a lot of uh, Christian Bale's growth pattern. Yeah. Christian Bale gets a little bit on the underneath where he gets a lot of the neck beard going on. He wears a, a variation of the Hollywoodian, but from what he typically wears is actually what Happy's wearing right there. Now, if you were to actually cover up the up, uh, top half of Happy's face, I'd probably say it's a little bit Christian Bale resembling right there. Um, I would let the hair grow out a little bit longer. Josh, can I see that side picture again? I know they can't see it, but can you go back to that email that he sent in? Yeah, there we go. Uh, so it does okay. look like there's a little bit on the side. Yeah, okay. I see what he's Ooh, actually, with, now that yeah. I can see that side, I don't know if I would cut it all the way, but I would let it come in just a little bit more, just add a little bit more shape to the head, especially if you're going to shave down the side of the beard. Um, and also, I see that you guys can't see it, but his um, goatee goes back a little bit farther on his uh, into his cheeks. So I would keep it a little bit more trimmed, make it more of a, either a circle beard or a Van Dyke, and then get a little bit more of an intentional style going in there. So in conclusion, man... Go for those sides, bring them down, take that razor to it, okay? Don't be afraid. It's going to be a little scary at the beginning, right? And Sylvester can weigh in on this in a second, but take those in, in my opinion. Go for the circle beard. Go for the Van Dyke. Let the sides of your hair grow out a little bit longer, but keep slicking it back because that looks badass, man. I really like it, all right? Yeah, you know, my my piece of advice Mm -hmm. uh, would be to follow Jack's advice. Yeah. (laughs) Or if you wanted to change things up, Happy, mm-hmm. uh, I think a scruffy goat would look pretty gnarly. 
Uh, and so that that would mean, oh, really? yeah, okay. I, that would mean to reduce. He almost has that in a way. He almost has it in a way, but I would reduce the growth towards the center of the face. I'd, okay, I'd bring that down Trim it to down maybe just a, a, little bit. a three guard. Yeah, uh, and uh, and and yeah, it's not the long styled beard that you might be reaching for, or going yeah. for, or desiring. Uh, but this is a perfect example of rocking what you got, and mm-hmm. either go with Jack's advice and 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 follow Christian Bale's style, if you will. Definitely go for uh, that. Yeah. Which is a really incredible style, uh, and again, you're rocking that very, very closely here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I would, if I, if you were looking to change things up, and maybe, maybe wait till the spring or summer uh, to do it. But I would do a three guard towards the center, in the center of the face, right, keeping things relatively say, short, yep. and then doing a fade through the cheek area up into up into your sideburns. And you can have a barber do that. That would probably uh, be best. Try at least beard, the first time. Yeah, if you go over to beardbrand.com and search a scruffy goat style, mm-hmm. uh, Chris Millington may show up. Yeah, he's been a great example he's got of a someone good, who wears good, that well. He rocks that style really well, and that would be a really cool. I think that would compliment you uh, really cool in the spring and summertime if you wanted to keep things uh, on the shorter end and change up the style. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you on that one. All yeah. Right. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Happy. Hope that makes you very happy. <laughs> With that being said, let me move my gigantic right, water me, bottle out of the way and let's him. gong him. Oh, sweet. Oh, that was a nice one. A nice little settle. We're getting gong. better at that, man. All righty. We ready for style consultation number two? I don't know. Are you all ready? I'm we ready. ready, man. Are you ready? Yeah, let's get into person? it. Are you like creating anticipation? I don't know this guy. <laughs> I thought you were messing with me. Huh. All right. Who do we have on deck? Let's get, get that email going. Let me get the going. email up. Josh is just finding that email. It's good to see you guys in there. Hey, someone's Leonardo DiCaprio from The Revenant. Yeah, he does kind of have that style. Yeah, yeah. I, a little bit yeah. of that. Yeah, that's kind of what it is. Yep. Uh, let's All right. I agree with that. All right. Good shout out, Fitz. Ready for the info. <laughs> Someone just says, uh, real quick, let me weigh on this. Someone is saying three guard. Come on, Sylvester. <laughs> I'm going. I'm thinking back to Jack's bad barbershop experience. So, yeah, actually, we do have a pair of clippers over in... Uh, little secret area over there but uh there's a pair of clippers and i'm looking at the three guard on the table that's over there and i'm like ooh, i actually think that's a little bit shorter than what you're thinking man yeah is it it is it's quite it, it's yeah, actually might, gonna take yeah, that pretty actually, close uh yeah i'll i'll scratch that let's go with the, <laughs> maybe uh, like a six, let's go with the six six yeah let's start with yeah. six to be safe all right who do we have sorry to derail that no that was right. that's a good suggestion or comment there this is steven steven hey guys steven here steven I'm 29 years old. 29. I've been growing my beard for about 14 weeks. 14 weeks? The ultimate goal is for, is a full maintained beard of five to six inches long. Okay. The longest I've gone in five and a half months is four inches, and I've done that twice. Okay. This time, I want to push past my mental boundaries and keep growing. He wants to go beyond plus ultra. All right. So, he wants to go beyond MK Ultra. Let's see. So he's looking to grow his beard longer than it is in this photo? Yes. It's a good photo. I like that. A little dark, but I like this. I like his outfit. All right, so let me tell you what Stephen looks like for anyone who's listening at home or in the car or wherever. Stephen is a strapping young gentleman of 29 years old. Uh, looks like he may have a little bit of Middle Eastern or Indian descent in him. Uh, dark hair slicked to the side and kind of a corporate side part. Nothing very heavy in the hair. It's actually matte. I don't even know if he's got anything in there. Um, if anything, it's maybe clay. Uh, in terms of the mustache, there's a gap in the middle, but it's actually a very strong, heavy mustache. Goes over the lip. Um, doesn't cover the entire lip completely. That's mostly due to the gap, though. Lower cheek line, but it's strong. I don't see any patches in this beard. Very dark beard, very coarse and dense. He's wearing a uh, checkered blue button-up shirt and a blue blazer. Kind of a very nice country club style going on here. I like it. Do you have anything to offer, Sylvester, or do you want to just get right into this style consultation? Uh, would you say there, I can't tell from this photo, but mm-hmm. are there patches here, or is that just the, gl- the uh, glare of the photo? Uh, the camera? What section are you talking about? Uh, underneath the lip area. Is that Under- the only photo we have? Yes. Okay. Oh, actually, in the zoomed out <laughs> picture, he's got a glass of whiskey. Oh, my man. Nice. So it looks like, okay, now that we're seeing the full-size picture, um, Josh has zoomed in in a different screen for us. Uh, it does look like there's... Oh, the only spot where there isn't hair on this guy's face in terms of like he's already got kind of a low cheek line but right yeah. underneath the uh the bottom lip there's a little tiny patch under the sole patch but yeah. i think that's i that, don't think that, i don't, I don't know, know necessarily call that a patch that's more just yeah it's pretty usually normal. guys don't get hair right there. yeah and honestly I, I i'm almost starting to think that it's more the uh just the photo itself yeah it might just be the shadow yeah so cool so the goal is right. uh here's to grow out his beard correct josh yes uh and he's been growing for how long again 
Five and a half months. Five and a half months. All right, cool. Five and a half months. That's and a good beard. Five and a half what months. What was his name? Steven. 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 All right, Steven. So, hey, if you're watching, uh, hopefully Steven's thanks in for, the chat. Uh, thanks for uh, sending your photo in. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I got to say, the very first thing that stands out in this photo is not only the guy's beard, not mm -hmm. only his hair, there's plenty of, uh, of opportunity and uh, growth to work here with, but the style overall is Good super style. complimenting. Uh, yeah, it's very I was, nice. I was, I was uh, surprised to see the glass of whiskey in his uh, in his hand when Josh <laughs> zoomed out. That's pretty funny. Uh, and it's such a fitting photo. It really uh, is. This guy, man, I mean, rocking it style-wise. Oh, he's even got uh, a pocket square. Yeah, he's got a white pocket square in there. That's a peri almost like a periwinkle blue, mm -hmm. almost. I'm uh, not sure it's if a it's good periwinkle, look. but it is a very light blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole the shirt and the uh, jacket combo, I mean, is just nailing it's, it. It's a good look. It's a good look. It's very classic. Uh, and and so the beard, as you mentioned, Jack, like he, it's a very dense beard. Mm -hmm. But Man, he's kept it well trimmed. He's kept it well well trimmed. Mm -hmm. and, and and if you're looking to grow, if you're at five and a half months, six months, I mean, man, really, you could just keep on growing. Keep on growing. Yeah. Uh, I would it seems set like a, he's already doing. Yeah. Exactly what he needs to be doing. The best way to do this, in my opinion, is incre incrementally. Mm -hmm. So set yourself a, if you want to start very, at the very basic, uh, set 30 days as a standard yeah. or as a, as a benchmark yeah. and go that full 30 days without trimming it. Sure. Uh, based on your, what I'm looking at here, uh, you're going to want to probably see a barber at the end of that 30 days to kind of mm -hmm. give you some definition and just kind of line things up. Uh, but I really don't think you need much lining other than just the cheek area. And, yeah, if he's and not then, going into a barber, he's doing it great himself so far. Yeah, and if you are looking to grow that mustache out, then I wouldn't touch the mustache at all during that 30-day mm -hmm. period, even at the end of that 30-day period. But if you want to, yes, if sir. you are looking to keep that mustache clean and maintained, then at that 30 days, you're going to need a check-in. Yeah. Uh, again, with the barber, uh, preferably you can do that on your own as well. There's lots of good tools and resources over at beardbrand.com or on our YouTube channel that there can help go. you with that. Uh, but 30 days at at a minimum yeah then you can reset that benchmark for the next 30 days and then kind of just, just go, take it on a month by month yeah basis. just go on a month by month basis yeah. until you've got the the length uh of beard that you're reaching for mm -hmm. long term if you're looking to go for a really longer a much longer beard maybe doubling the size then you would want to go for at least another six months yeah and that would put you at the year at the year uh mark uh, and even though you may have had a few maintenance trims in there, you, I would say you've grown your beard out for a year. Uh, as long as you're not complete, like going through the year challenge itself, mm -hmm. like I would say you've grown it out for a year. Uh, and then the head hair, man, dude, Looking I like good. this style. Yeah, uh, it's maybe a very in the contemporary summertime, style. Maybe in the summertime or springtime, maybe uh, keep the sides a little bit more trim. But for the season that we're in now, which right now we are in the fall season, Moving into I think the fall this hairstyle now. and length is, is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I would recommend reaching for some, uh, some sea salt spray and some styling balm specifically to help you keep that shape and that style. Uh, maybe give you a little bit more definition uh, and kind of clean it up a little bit, if you will. It's just going to help you structure that, uh, that really nice head hair you've got rocking there, man. All right. uh, other than that, I don't know. What do you think? I think you hit it right on the head, man. If anything, last note, don't be afraid to get those trims every once in a while because even if you are going for the uh, the huge length beard, you got to get rid of those split ends. And they will inevitably happen at least one point or another. You're going to get yeah. at least a few split ends in there. So make sure that you're going to a barber or doing it yourself, just getting those split ends cut off and encouraging that growth to continue to happen. All right, Stephen? All good? Shall we gong him? Let's gong him. Gong him. Ooh, soft. Ooh. All right. Hey. Third style consultation. Who do we have? Yeard. I see that's the title of the message he sent us. Yes. <laughs> this is David. David. Hey, David. Strong name. Yes. Hey, guys. I'm, al I'm an almost 45-year-old male living in Northern California. Okie doke. I'm in 10 and a half months into my first forced. Forced? F-O-R-S-T. Uh, okay. First, yeah. yeah. First beard ever and loving it. I only trim my lip and I've even stopped that as of recently okay uh i have sorry i'm reading these like for the first time as i'm like reading them to you guys no worries um i guess i like the nice even line on the bottom of my beard or, sure there i don't know i can't understand that first part sure so no, worries. no nice worries. even line on the bottom line of my beard is 100 percent natural everyone thinks i do something but all i use is balm a brush and a dryer I, a I simple imagine man a blow dryer that's all good not like a washer dryer but my I year is yeah. over on November 20th. Hey, you just passed it. Hey, 
not yet. Oh, it's November. November. 20th. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why does it feel like November? It's October. Um, <laughs> but as of now, I have no plans on shaving it. Thinking okay. of going to going terminal length whenever that is. Yeah. And I could really, and I could get really long. My question is, what can I do to keep it looking healthy as it starts to get really, really long? Thanks for the help and the videos, David. All right. So David's about ten and a half months into his first year. It's looking good, man. It's looking really, really yeah. good. You want to describe uh, David for our listeners, yeah. and I'll take him on a, yeah. as a man after my own heart. Strong name yeah, with strong. a strong beard, David. Uh, so David, as he mentioned in his email, ha- is growing a yeard, mm-hmm. uh, and it is exactly what you would expect when you're going through the yeard process. It is gnarly. It is long. Yeah. Uh, man, that's got to be about six to eight inches in length, if I'm guessing, uh, on the beard itself, so it is quite long, and uh, and David has a uh, couple of colors going on in yeah, his beard. Yeah, a lot of colors. Uh, the main color that uh, pops out is the gray, mm-hmm. uh, which I think is incredible. It's uh, a good color in there. And the gray is uh, strongest, uh, I would say, from the tip of the beard mm-hmm. up to about the chin, and then it gets uh, it goes back to its natural color, which is looks to be a, a dark brown. Yep. Um, and so, yeah, like he like David mentioned, he is keeping uh, maintenance of the mustache, which he has recently stopped. Uh, and if I'm judging based on this photo, uh, David has a little bit of a receding hairline, uh, but there is some length up on top of that hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, and David looks like he is standing in the Mojave Desert uh, with some sunglasses, some shades, some uh, some polo locos, as I would call them. <laughs> Uh, some, uh, I would say, yeah, just some dark black shades. Yep. Uh, and he is looking into the sun, wearing a white t-shirt, uh, but rocking his beard with what I would say he seems to be wearing it pretty well. Yep. So he's rocking it with confidence, man. You know who his beard reminds me of? And if you guys have never seen this guy on our channel before, go ahead and look him up because he's amazing. Is Mahesh. It looks like Mahesh's beard, doesn't he? <laughs> a little bit, a little yeah. Bit. It's a little bit like Mahesh's yeah. beard. Not in terms of Mahesh's mustache, but that's kind of giving me some inspiration. If he wants to try out... Uh, Mahesh's uh, more curly kind of fishtail style of mustache. That might be pretty cool. But David, let me tell you this. You are doing the yeard excellently. That thing looks like it's well kept. It looks like it's really, really healthy. Way healthier than mine looked. Especially, I mean, look at that. It's got a really good shape to it. And it's kind of almost that what we saw last week with um, our, our guy who had the rectangular beard. Um, yep. And you see that a lot when you have a natural beard. They get that rectangular shape. A lot of guys won't normally get that round shape when it gets this long. So... David, if you are going to keep the yeard and you are going to give it a trim, if you don't want to go for the tweird, right? I would say maybe introduce more of a round shape to it because I'm all, personally, this is just for my own opinion. I like the more round shape or more pointed shape for a beard. I'm not a huge fan of the rectangular shape where it just becomes a curtain at the bottom. Trust me, as a guy who rocked that for about three months at the end of the year, it was rough. I didn't really like the way it made my face shape feel. But otherwise, I don't know. It, I do like the way this guy's yeard came in. And I would say... If you're not going to, well, no, he is letting the stash continue to grow now. He used to trim it himself, but now he's letting it grow. So I would continue to let that grow and maybe try to get a little bit of wax in there, man, or a little bit of styling balm in there. Yeah, man, I would definitely suggest uh, getting some styling balm. At this yeah. length of beard, mm-hmm. the styling balm is really going to perform incredibly well on oh, his yeah. beard. It's going to allow you to, it's going to give you shape, mm-hmm. uh, but it's also going to give you a little bit of bounciness to it. It's going to just look, yeah. it's going to like flow. And you really don't need that much. And of you it don't in need there. a lot. No. Uh, the styling bomb, you can use it in your head hair, uh, yeah. but then you can rub the residuals on top of your hair exactly. on your beard mm-hmm. to give it that really nice structured and, but not overly structured effect. Um, mm-hmm. And if you're going for term- terminal growth and you said, what is that? I mean, <laughs> I, terminal well, growth stops. is definitely something you could go for. Yeah, I would be curious could. to see what you would look like once you do reach if that If he hasn't reached growth. yet, I'm, I'm very interested yeah. to see how long uh, and, this thing goes. For those of you listening for the first time and you're like, what, is, what the hell is terminal growth? Yep. Terminal growth is basically the longest point uh, that you're genetically programmed to grow a hair out. So if you think of the mm-hmm. hair on your leg or you think of the hair on your arm, exactly. it's going to grow to a certain point and then it's going to fall out. Exactly. Same thing with our head hair, same thing with mm-hmm. our beard. That's why some guys can grow their hair or their beard out down to their belly button. Right. Uh, and some guys can't grow it, and some it just uh, stops. much longer than uh, their, their neckline. Exactly. It's just terminal growth. It's the longest point in which you're genetically 
programmed uh, to grow that hair for. So and David's genetics are letting him grow that thing. Yeah, long. man. Uh, yeah, it, killer beard. I don't. I don't have any other advice than to reach for some styling balm. Yeah, give that a shot, man, and then continue to grow out that stash. If you get to the point where you want to give it a little bit more of a shape, maybe you try introducing a round shape to it. Mash actually, speaking of him, has another great video about how he trimmed his. So there give that one a watch. All right, let him be your guru. So it looks like we're getting the, about let's the halfway mark. Him. Yeah, let's gong David, and we're about the halfway mark. So why don't we bring us back into the full-on screen, and we can jump right into our st- uh, special topic of today. There we go. Man, this one's just do, uh, flying by. Well, don't forget, we did start like three minutes late. So yeah, You, you know what? More? We did start late, so let's do one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. There we go. All right. Who is this, this gentleman is, on this my is screen? a man asking. This is a man, a man. man asking for advice. <laughs> That's who it is. Let's see. Let's see who else is in here. While well, Josh is pulling that up, uh, Got Thomas had suggested or asked a question that I want to quickly answer. He sure. said, uh, so would we recommend styling bomb over utility bomb? And the answer is no, mm. uh, because you, styling bomb it doesn't have any moisturizing attributes. Right. Uh, it's strictly designed for... Uh, for hold and a little, well, a little bit of hold and a little bit of shape, yep. where Utility Bomb is the exact opposite. It's similar to beard oil in the fact that it's going to moisturize, condition your hair. It's going to uh, take care of your skin beneath your beard. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they both serve different purposes, and it really just depends on. It's like comparing uh, a necktie to a pair of underwear. Y- both you serve need different both. purposes. Yeah. <laughs> both serve totally different purposes, man. One of them you need more than the other. <laughs> or hey, depends on depends kinda, on the guy. Depends on how you roll, man. <laughs> and they can be interchanged. Uh, is this? Um, All right. Who do we have here, man? Who is this? This it's is Julian. Julian. Hey, Julian. Hey guys. Julian here from Romania. Whoa. Holy I'm 26 cow. years old, and this is the first time I've grown my beard. Okay. Hopefully, for about six months. All right. That would be my goal. Uh, so he wants to grow up for six months. Okay. okay. In this current state, my beard is two months of growth, casually trimming my mustache to keep it above the lip. Sure. The thing is, I think I have a patchy beard, a oh. weak mustache, and cheeks. Hmm. And sometimes I consider shaving it. Okay. I have to mention, I haven't used any products yet, and I have some blonde hairs in my mustache and goatee area. My parents keep telling me I look better with a five o'clock shadow or even better completely shaven. Hmm. I'm interested in your thoughts about it. How should I approach the situation? How mm. should I approach this situation? Okay. Do you think I have potential for a huge, majestic beard like Jack? <laughs> Cheers, and keep up the good work. Let's have a look. All right, so we're having a look scene right now. So our man Julian, let me describe him for our audio listeners. Julian is 26 years old. Mm-hmm. Round face shape. Beard is strongest in the jawline. Uh, most strong in that part, in the um, right under the chin. Mustache has a gap in the middle, comes down to the sides and sort of a, I don't know what shape that I would call that, but it's its pretty strong. There's like a patch or two at the very top of the mustache. Uh, soul patch is there, uh, patches on either side of that. Uh, cheek line is a little bit weaker. There's not as much growth in the cheek line as it goes towards the uh, top of the cheek. And then the hairline is pretty high. Um, he's rocking what looks like a very close cut, buzz cut look. Um, other than that, wearing a blue polo, looking at us from the side. Yeah. Let's take him on. <laughs> so, Julian, the uh, the answer to your question is it, it as to whether or not you can grow a majestic beard like Jack uh, <laughs> is is yet to be determined. This thing's uh, majestic. <laughs> but but I'm going to shoot straight with you, man. Uh, you are rocking a patchy beard, uh, mm. and you know uh, the reason why I say it's yet to be determined is because it's all based on your genetics, and you're 26 yes, years old. Your beard is going to look different when you're 27, yeah. like it's going to look different when you're 30. Like it's gonna look different when you're 36, so uh, it's just it all it all depends on the genetics that you are programmed with, uh, whether or not you're gonna have a, a, a big gnarly majestic beard uh, mm-hmm. <clears throat> like Jack. Um, <laughs> so that's yet to be determined. But yeah, man, what you're working with today is a patchy beard. Uh, I also have a patchy beard, so please hear me when I say that this advice comes from a sincere place. Uh, yeah, the, the cheek area doesn't grow in that well, but that's okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you could totally rock uh, maybe like a Hollywoodian style. That's what I was going to so say. And people Hollow- in the chat have suggested that too. Yeah, Hollywoodian style is where you just kind of bring the cheek line mm-hmm. down a little bit and uh, accentuate the growth uh, towards the bottom of your chin, closer to your 
jawline. Yeah. Uh, I think Leonardo DiCaprio or maybe even, uh, as we mentioned a little bit earlier, Christian, uh, Bale. Christian Bale. Yes, sir. Uh, but dude, uh, you are able to grow some pretty good, uh, some a pretty good mustache. Yeah, it comes uh, in thick. And that goatee. So th- consider styles like the Van Dyke. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you want to switch things up, I'm a big fan when you have a patchy beard to keep things relatively short. Uh, and maybe I said a, a number three guard earlier because <laughs> I used a number three guard yesterday to trim down the sides of my beard. Oh, uh, and I keep it, I just like to keep it short. So I would mm-hmm. recommend keeping it short on the sides and then you can kind of keep uh, some of that growth towards the center of the face. That's typically where us patchy beard guys grow the most. Uh, and have the strongest growth yes, is sir. towards the center of the face. So grow that mustache out. Um, yeah, man, if you're looking to really get the most growth out of your mustache, I would set a benchmark of six months. Uh, you can start out with 30 days and go from 30 to, to 60, 60 mm-hmm. to 90. See where you're at in 90 days and then reassess and reevaluate if, if uh, you want to continue that path of growing. But six months is usually... For most guys, we're talking about terminal growth, right? A little earlier, yep. uh, six months is that's kind that's of a the, good the, that's a good mark for most guys okay, yeah. where they're going to stop growing. Not every guy, mm-hmm. but some but most guys are going to fall into that six month category. That'll really give you an opportunity to see what you're working with. Yeah. Uh, but I am a, a big fan. You you've got uh, a receding hairline and thinning on top. That's very similar to my uh, situation as well. Yeah. I keep things short. So I would uh, encourage you to keep that uh, keep that at that length, but no longer than that. Uh, either trim it all the way down. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go with the full shave, uh, but keep it at a one guard to a one to a three guard on top at least. For sure. Uh, but yeah, man, keep on growing. You're looking good. All right, man. I don't think I have much to add other than that. I think we got uh, our friend Julian pretty much set up. Hopefully he sees this. I didn't see him in the chat, but he can always... Listen to this or uh, watch it at a later date. Julian, thank you so much for sending something in to us. And hey, keep on growing, man. Keep on growing. Style consultation consulted. Hey! That was a tinny one. That was a good one. That was a good one. And strong as we go into special topics of today. And man, our special topic of today is no other than fall fashion tips from your good buddies, Jack and Sylvester. Yeah. (laughs) One very well-dressed man and one guy who (laughs) saw the closet this morning and said... That looks warm. <laughs> well, you know, it is cooler weather here in Austin. Yep. Uh, and typically for this time of year, we're about 70 to 80 degrees. And I think right now we're like 50 to 60 Yeah, uh, it's, degrees. it's like low 60s right now. So, it actually isn't that cold. And it's wet. Yeah, it uh, yeah it's not. It's not. Well, cold is relative. Yeah, depending where you're from. It's cold for me as a Floridian. <laughs> yeah, and I lived, in the, uh, I lived in the Midwest for 15 years, man. So I'm used to negative 40 degree temperatures and <laughs> 150 inches of snow and six months yeah, of gray guys so i know what cold is yeah uh, and so yeah we wanted we thought we'd give some suggestions now that the seasons have really changed mm-hmm. and as we go into uh as we go into fall and autumn yep uh, we thought we'd just give some suggestions so jack will give his suggestions and i'll give my, some of my tips and we and have very and, very different takes yeah, and yeah. styles so yeah. i think that's really cool it's like yeah, we have man. very different looks and how we are what, uh, what's your approach to to fall attire I, well, okay, so fall and winter are actually my favorite seasons, right? Because it gives me the opportunity to actually kind of dress like I give a crap. Because in summer, I, I don't handle cold weather very well. So I have, or I don't, I'm sorry, I don't handle hot weather very well. So I'm pretty much wearing the least amount of clothing that I can. Or, <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> easy. Or I, um, I'm just wearing essentially whatever I can use to keep cool. So I'm talking linens, shorter shorts, uh, canvas style shoes, things like that. But in the summertime, I mean, I'm, excuse me, in the winter time, in the fall, I get the opportunity to actually wear things like boots, things like pants finally. And the best thing for a thin guy, jackets. Because I think jackets, there is a lot to be said about them. I think they make a guy like me, who's kind of beanpole-ish, Look decent, right? Because in a in a t shirt, you know, there's only so much you can do when you got tiny little stick arms. Yeah. So when you say jacket, you're talking like the pullover you have now. Or well, really, like anything, a... anything that's going to cover the arms. It's the same idea as wearing um, a nice pair of fitted pants. You really follow the shape of the leg rather than shorts where they kind of flare out, or you know, your legs just get kind of lost, and then it's like, oh, there's your leg or whatever. Same thing can be said when you're wearing a t shirt or a short sleeve polo. Yeah. There you go. In hot weather. Your body is part of the fashion, and you better take care of it, or, you know, it's not going to look so great. I hear that. Yeah, so that's my basic take on it. But when it comes to actually deciding what I'm going to wear, 
during fall. I try and tend to dress up a little bit more. I mean, even this is still like a pair of nicer chinos that I own. This is not like my regular ones I usually go to, which are basically like a jean substitute. And, you know, I'll try and wear my boots, which are a little bit nicer. And then um, with no socks. I don't wear socks. <laughs> yeah, people are going to get weird about that. They're like, why is Jack's leg showing? <laughs> um, and then, you know, underneath this, I just, I probably just pair this with like a, either a polo or um, That's a Henley. Yeah. A Henley t-shirt. Henley. Yeah. Yeah. So I usually try and do that, but this is a this is like a very northeastern and yeah. actually ironic or coincidentally enough, Floridian style. It is. You see a lot much. of guys in Florida. Dress, this is how they dress when winter rolls around. Now, granted, winter in Florida, at least where I'm from, you know, Boca yeah. Raton, really isn't that bad. I mean, yeah. today in Austin is about as cold as they would ever get in Boca yeah. Raton. Yeah. But I'm interested to hear what your take on, the, on well, it is. Oh yeah, because you've actually been through. You know, the ice storm, basically. Yeah. You've lived um, in the Midwest. So a couple of things I will, I'll offer uh, as just a uh, as a way of foundational notes to keep in mind is, you know, I, I particularly like the autumn and the fall. Yeah. Uh, from a stylistic perspective, it's, uh, uh, number one, it's change, and I, I enjoy change. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, and it offers an opportunity to change up your style uh, and your game by adding layers uh, kind of like mm. you just mentioned with a jacket yeah, or a pullover type of uh, You can only sweatshirt. take off so many clothes, but you can always put more you on. You can always That's put my more theory. on, baby. Uh, but we've, hey. Yeah, <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Uh, so, yeah, so, you know, it's the opportunity to add layers, uh, basically. Mm-hmm. And uh, you can take the subtle route, uh, kind of like, you know, what you, what you mentioned, yeah. just throwing on a quick pullover. Yep. Uh, or... You can take a statement route and yeah, really more, just de- more what you're doing. Right? Yeah, and it's really just dependent upon the uh, the occasion that you're that you're going for. Is it are you just going are you going into the office? Are mm-hmm. you going out on the town? Do you are you going to a formal event? Yep. You can add certain elements and certain articles of clothing to enhance your style yeah. that complement your beard, that complement your hair. Uh, and basically uh, complement who you are as an individual. Now it's funny you bring up the beard at the end because I've kind of wanted to segue into that because yeah. the fall and the winter actually op- uh, presents the opportunity to grow out yeah the bigger style beer and be a little bit more comfortable yeah we're getting ready to go into no shave november i know we are uh should so I, should i make a little announcement based off that or i, I know, can man. save that for a little bit later because i you don't even know this we talked about this yeah. a little bit after last stream i should so. save it I like save surprises. It? Okay, let's save it. Save it. All right. Uh, and I'm sure you guys will love the surprise as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I'll pick, I'm going to pick out a couple of things or call sure. out a couple of specific articles uh, that you could consider working into uh, to kind of uh, change up that fall and autumn style. Sure. Again, uh, the foundation or the note that I want to make sure you, you understand is, is adding layers. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but the first thing, let's start with, uh, let's start with what's on your feet. Very first thing that you could change up uh, is your boots. Yes, uh, so in the fall, in the autumn, I think it's. I mean, you can. I rock. I rock boots in the summertime as well. Yeah, There's you, nothing you wrong pretty with much that. wear boots all the time. Um, but you could. Fall and autumn is really the opportunity where you can stand out uh, yeah. by changing up your boot. Uh, mm-hmm. So whether that's a Chelsea boot, I've got on a Chelsea today. This one is a suede Chelsea. That's an Aldo, um, right? I believe so. Yeah. Uh, nice and boot. the uh, so Chelsea boot and Chelsea's Chelsea boots are real popular right now. Most a lot of guys uh, yeah. are Carlos rocking Chelsea is boots. A pair of those, yeah. Yeah, Carlos wears some really good Chelsea boots. Mm-hmm. Um, but one one thing that I particularly like is the lace up, kind of like what yeah, you've got on. Yeah, this is kind of like a uh, like an industrial. Yeah, like red, red wing, almost like a chukka type of a thing. Bit. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but uh, a good lace up boot. Uh, Either either which way you go, mm-hmm. whether you go Chelsea, whether you go lace up, uh, a good leather boot is yeah, always fit absolutely. for this time of year. Uh, a good leather boot, so you can pair uh, those boots with anything. You can pair them with jeans. You can pair them with yep. uh, if you're bold enough to make the statement and it works. You could even pair it with a suit. Really? Um, so hmm. just depends on the on the boot. Depends on the suit. I would tend to lean towards like a black boot. Boot if you're going to pair it with a suit yeah definitely or if you're wearing a uh, more earth tone you could do mm-hmm. a, you could do a brown boot as well just depends on the outfit and the occasion depends on how formal it is if it was, i don't think i would wear a pair of boots to a black tie event no but, yeah no yeah. definitely not but if it was sort of a business casual or even, even business formal i could probably get away with that yeah and it really all depends on on your confidence it takes confidence yeah. to, to and the scenario you need to yeah. take context into consideration who's going to be there you know uh the other the other thing that you could uh consider rocking is denim Oh, yeah. So denim layers denim. is another uh, is the first layer of article of clothing that I would recommend, mm-hmm. and that can go uh, whether that's uh, denim 
pair of pants. Nice pair of jeans. Uh, denim shirt. Denim jacket. Full Canadian tuxedo. Uh, you can do full t- Canadian tuxedo. Uh, I tend to wear more like t-shirts in the summertime. Yeah. Uh, unless I'm changing something up and I've got a specific uh, outfit in mind. Mm-hmm. But I'll usually wear a t-shirt. So when I when I pair things with, with denim, it's usually like a t-shirt underneath and mm-hmm. then a denim t-shirt or a denim button up on top oh, okay. uh, and then you could even throw a denim jacket on that as well if you if you want yeah uh, it really is going to be something you you'll see a lot more this fall is denim on denim uh, now so, one thing i would add to that though is one thing i've always known with denim is if you're going to pair it you know the jacket and the in jeans try and do different washes so if you're wearing a darker uh, uh jacket made of denim or a lighter pair of jeans. Yeah, you don't want yeah. it to one, look like one continuous pair of jeans. Or you could look. Or you could. You could. You could make it as long as the the shade wear within the, right the same way. shade. You yeah. can. It, again, it takes the right denim and the right outfit. I think so. It also takes the right amount of confidence. It as does. Well, yeah. Uh, to rock that. So I'm getting flashbacks to like the '90s of like dads wearing the yeah. really light wash je- uh, jean jacket with really white wash blue jeans. Yeah, and if you really if it's a cooler day and you want to pair it up with something. Else, I would throw a uh, like a chunky sweater on top of that just to add that extra layer of uh, yeah, it's always a good look and, and warm uh, comfortability. Even and the keeping corded warm. type from New England are great. Yeah, those pullover kind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like Artie wears. Yeah, those are great. Even if you guys are gonna wear the same like wash of denim, mm. you can add some contrast by wearing like, a lighter shirt or a darker. Oh, shirt. underneath, yeah, mm-hmm. perfect. perfect. Just so that it's not all one gigantic thing. Yeah, man. Uh, the other thing that I would recommend for the fall or the spring, and again, we're thinking from a layering aspect, but uh, this one doesn't necessarily require a layering aspect, is, is bold, a bold printed shirt. Mm. Uh, so like uh, either it's something that you saw, we saw uh, a lot of in the, in the spring, in the, in the summer this year, mm-hmm. and it's not going away. Uh, you're going to well, see- Now what do you mean by that? Check. So a bold printed shirt is yeah. going to be something like, uh, if you go back a few videos, you'll see I've worn a couple of shirts that's got some bold prints on them. Mm-hmm. Uh, Carlos wears a couple of shirts oh, okay. that's got some bold prints on them. That's not going anywhere. They're just going to transform to a long sleeve styled shirt. Okay. So uh, wearing a bold printed shirt, uh, I think, again, it's not just a spring or a summer thing. It's definitely going to be something for the fall and the autumn that you're going to see a lot of. Uh, But I would tend, uh, so like in the spring and summer, uh, we like to wear colors that are a little bit more vibrant, more mm-hmm. on the lighter scale, uh, yeah. like and we move away yellows and oranges and things like that. Yeah. In the fall, you'll want to reach for something that's more, um, uh, I don't want to say uh, earth tone, but, but more just on a little the, bit darker. In just the on the darker, palette, yeah. yeah d- dark on Whereas the darker. this might be more of a vibrant red. It yeah, more of a exactly. Uh, I think it, the word is autumnal. Autumnal? Autumnal? Yes, there you go. Thank you. What is it? Autumnal. There you autumnal. go. There you go. Interesting. So, in my opinion, the bolder the pattern, the better. <laughs> Uh, and you can you can layer those things if you're looking for something to pair it with. Pair it with a leather jacket. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, that's gonna make especially. That's if something you, I need to work back into my fashion. Especially if you've got a well maintenance beard and you've got mm-hmm. clean cut hair, that bold pattern is gonna really help you stand out uh, in a crowd, jacket, and it's yeah. gonna pop with that leather jacket. It's gonna really mm-hmm. make you look crisp and clean. Uh, the final piece of article uh, that I would recommend from sure. my perspective is a sport coat. Oh, I so, actually almost wore one of those today. Yeah, so uh, you, it can be a solid, uh, solid color mm-hmm. sport coat like I have on today. Yeah, uh, or it could be a pattern uh, like a check, interesting, or yeah, a bold. herringbone, or a um, uh, what uh, is it? Hound's tooth. Hound's tooth. Yeah, or hound's tooth. Uh, so there's different patterns that you can rock and work into your uh, style. That is a bold style. Yeah, I don't necessarily having. I mean, you can have multiple. I like to keep like maybe no more than three in my closet three mm-hmm. sport coats uh, okay. that you can work in with different outfits. Uh, but, uh, you know, you want to think about seersucker uh, Ooh, and linen for the warmer weather. Okay, I see a lot yeah. of guys still doing this wrong where they'll wear, they'll, they'll wear like, a, like cotton or seersucker and it's 60 degrees in, out. in winter time <laughs> or in lighter time. colors yeah. as well. I actually just was out last night and saw a guy rocking a pinstripe, uh, a light blue pinstripe uh, seersucker jacket, and it was 60 degrees out. Mr. Miami you wanna, Beach. You want to pot? You want to put those away? Put those towards the back of your closet. Reach for something that's <laughs> uh, a little more on the wool or yep. cashmere uh, side. This one here is a uh, camel hair. Mm-hmm. It's 100 percent camel hair. It looks uh, nice. It looks warm. It's super. It's perfect. It's lightweight, but it offers that warmth as yeah, well. It's nice stuff. Uh, and you can pair that with a bold shirt, like we were, sh- sh- like I was saying earlier, or even a lightweight sweater. So this one is a lightweight cashmere sweater underneath. 
Uh, mm. So again, just that added layer of comfortability and warmth. Uh, and then I'll just throw out one last thing. This sure. is my only thing, and okay. then I'll be okay. quiet. Uh, in style, if you really want to change, if you, for guys who you're like, yeah, all that advice is is good, and I already know all those things. Well, awesome. Uh, I would say uh, to be mindful that you're going to see a lot of top coats come back this fall and in autumn. Really, top coats are going to make their way back. It, this year, last year was a first introduction. This year's really going to become more of a trend. I think by next, by next fall, next autumn, you're going to see them even more popular. Every guy is going to be wearing it, just kind of like the uh, the cop stash was uh, a Hold couple on. of let summers me, ago. Let me quickly Google what a top coat is real quick, because <laughs> I don't think I know. I don't think I'm thinking of the same thing that you're thinking of. Yeah. Oh, so it's okay. a jacket basically that comes either down to like your oh, knee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn of the century kind of jacket. Yeah, they, they, not they, Matrix. No, no, no. no not not like Matrix, a duster. No. But I was thinking like full on 90s new metal kind yeah. of. Yeah. No, not, not quite. <laughs> trench coat. Yeah, not quite. You're going to see a lot more of these come back into style this, sure. this fall, this autumn. Yeah. Uh, looks so good. if you're looking to, to pick up a, a really, uh, like a new item, mm -hmm. man. I uh, throw it on with your beard, with your hair, mm -hmm. with the hat. It's a nice it's style. It's gonna look. It's gonna look good, especially so. in this herringbone style that I just found. That looks really yeah, nice. Yeah, man. So you guys should uh, look up some of those. That's a good look. But yeah. one thing that people were saying is make sure that you get it fitted, or at least make sure that it fits pretty well. Cause yeah, that's 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 that, kind of the no-brainer. That's, no -brainer. A whole thing. that's yeah. the whole key. We can we can well, dedicate you'd, you'd a whole. You'd be surprised how many guys show. will buy show or stuff that doesn't fit, yours included. Well, you know, there's there's an overstyle the, mm. or an oversized style yeah. uh, that that is really popular right it's now. It's coming back in that streetwear. And, yeah, and, and that yeah, falls in that. another category and another topic. But yeah, I, for a top coat, you definitely want it to you want, you it, want to it to fit. fit properly. Yeah, just like a sport coat. Yeah, coat and when you want a little bit tighter, kind of a almost a, a European cut. I would yeah, say. Rather yeah, yeah, an American, and, which is a little bit boxier. Yep, and I've actually got a top coat right now. I'm getting ready to take to uh, the tailor because oh, I've yeah. lost some weight since mm. I since I. Since bought the coat, oh, uh, there you go. and it's 15 hey, years old. Oh, jeez. Uh, and so, yeah, man, I'm about to take that in and get it chopped up. There so, you go, man. Hey. Yeah, that's a good key advice is to make sure it fits properly. Yeah, don't be afraid to take it into the tailors, guys. That's, yeah. That's one thing I feel like a lot of young guys aren't doing, going to the tailors. Yeah, man. Well, we could just hear, sit here and talk about young people all day. <laughs> I think we could uh, call it, put a pin in that topic for a day. Man, you came prepared with that whole list. I was yeah, like, man. no, let's just, let's just shoot the shit about <laughs> fall. You're right. No, here's the list. <laughs> I like that, man. I like that you come prepared. But hey, guys, so we'll jump into um, special topics. Or not special topics now. I just saw it on the screen. Uh, we'll jump into questions and answers right yeah, now. Yeah, question and answers. Before we do that, yeah, you want to pick a winner? Oh, oh yeah, we man. Pick a we are running. Yeah. Remember, we are running five already. minute late. Five minutes later than we normally are. So we're going to go ahead and get our first winner on the board. And then we'll jump into our questions and answers. By the way, we uh, we posted a uh, thing on our Instagram page asking if you guys had any questions. So we'll be pulling the answers from there first, okay? What's our Instagram page? Instagram page is at beardbrand.com or just at beardbrand, right? Yeah, yeah. Go, over to, go over to Instagram <laughs> and just search beardbrand. And uh, you'll definitely find the circle beard is what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, definitely. All right. Don't follow winner number one ones. is winner number one chase cleveland chase cleveland oh i saw them in here earlier oh i just saw chase cleveland said something there oh yeah i saw him there he just got his pea coat i think i oh man did i talk chase did we talk on instagram last week i feel like we did i've been talking to a lot of these guys i i opened up my dms on instagram and now i've been talking to a few people in here nice I felt like a complete fool i had no idea how to open those up <laughs> So when I opened up, there's a whole flood of them that just like assaulted my phone. Nice. That I had just been sitting there. <laughs> but Chase, congratulations, man. I just saw him say, he's here. Excellent. Hey, Winner number gong. one. Woo! Ooh, good that's gong. That's a good one, Jack. Yeah, man. Just clip that audio. All righty. Let's get some questions on the table. Randa, you have the uh, Beard Brand Instagram queued up. Do you have any questions that you want us to take on first? Yeah. So the first one is from Jules July 15 on Instagram. Okay. He says, best advice y'all can give to someone who's being discouraged for having a beard. Ooh, that is tough. I would say beat to the, uh, or march to the beat of your own drum. And people are, no matter what it is, if it's a beard, if it's your style, it can really be a lot of different things. A lot of people will try and discourage you from what you're doing. And I think the beard is the easy target for a lot of people, especially because a lot of people are going for a beard style maybe that doesn't suit them the best, or maybe they're going for something that isn't quite there yet. Uh, so I would find a style that works with your intentionality, you know, something that works the best of what you can grow right now. 
And man, you just, you got to embrace the haters. I mean, we have plenty of haters here on the channel and we, we deal with them every day. Every day. Every single day. Uh, you know, my recommendation would be uh, to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. Absolutely. Uh, the, the, the name of this show is called The Alliance Show. Mm -hmm. uh, and The Alliance is a private community of guys who are like-minded, who like to talk about beards, hair, Absolutely. style, but also share in the journey of becoming the best version of yourself. So yeah. check out The Alliance over at beardbrand.com. We have a link to it down in the description. Are, yeah, this we've got a link to it down in the description below. Uh, think about joining. Yeah, uh, give it a and, shot. And uh, there's a whole bunch of perks for joining the community, but that's really going to, not aside from listening to Jack's advice of uh, march to the beat of your own drum, you also want to align yourselves with uh, people who also uh, like to encourage and like to invest in themselves and also mm -hmm. invest into other people. Uh, don't let anything deter you or, or distract you from uh, the investment in yourself because that, it, when you take care of yourself, then you learn and you know automatically, not always, but I say this generally, mm -hmm. then you begin to take care of others. Uh, yeah. When you respect yourself, you respect other people. Absolutely. And it's, it's a natural uh natural law of uh, what I would call a natural law of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester is natural yeah, law man. of gravity. All right, man. I hope that answers your question. Uh, do we have a second question? Opinions are like snowflakes. Everyone has one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Philly cheese 35 on Instagram says, um, what are some techniques that will help train my mustache so it can lay down? Hmm. Definitely want to work a boar hair brush in there. I think that's a great tool that don't for your mustache. Much, yeah, to train it. Yeah, be a good way to to get that to sit down. And then uh, don't forget to carry around a comb. I know that sounds kind of weird, but you know we do make pocket combs, man. You can pick one of those up, just carry that with you wherever you're going. As weird as it is, you can comb your mustache throughout the day and just kind of train yeah, that man. hair. It also depends on the length of your mustache. Mm -hmm. If you are uh, just a few months into that process, it's not going to yeah. behave necessarily the way you always want it to behave. Uh, but once you've got some growth on that, I would say about anywhere from uh, three to six months of growth, uh, then you can start working a tool like a blow dryer into the routine. Yeah, once it gets uh, longer. Yep. And then also some mustache wax that we carry oh, um, is going to also help it uh, give it some shape and help keep those hairs in place. So mustache wax, a boar's hair brush, a mustache. Uh, a pocket comb mm -hmm. and what else a blow dryer blow dryer yeah man big three right there we got gotcha. you all right man hopefully that helps next question before we get to Wait. the next question oh we need another do winner. we have another winner we do excellent at beezer is beezer. number two hey i saw them in here beezer, beezer. are you in here congratulations so keep an eye on the chat guys and we'll uh we'll get another question going Let's see, what do we have on deck next, uh, Randa? So, we have from David Cezine. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, <laughs> which is the worst thing about having a medium to long beard? And I guess that's a good question for you to Jack. For worst thing about having a medium to long beard, he asks. I would say you're going to find that a lot of the hairs go terminal and start falling out. And you're just going to start finding beard hairs everywhere. It is bizarre. Oh, by the way, Beezer is here. Let's go. All right, him. let's go. I'm going to go You need him back. from the back? Oh, you can try. There it is. <laughs> yeah. All right, Beezer, you are winner number two. Congratulations. All right. So, yeah, I would say the worst thing about having a medium to long beard is, yeah, you're going to find that the hairs just kind of fall out, and you're going to find them all over the place. I'm talking in your bed, in your car, in other hair, you know, in body hair. Like, you'll just find it, like, wrapped into your chest hair. You'll find it in your head hair. You'll find it in your comb. You'll find it in your brush. But you know what? I think that's a small price to pay because, hey, that happens to girls. They have long hair. And, it's natural, man. Yeah, exactly. That's totally fine. It's a small, small price to pay for what is pretty much an awesome beard and a pretty much awesome thing to have. Oh, and people are saying getting food stuck in it. I yeah. wouldn't know. My mustache is too small. Yeah. <laughs> Although, I'll tell you this. The other night, I was having soup, and I accidentally dunked my beard into the soup. Oh. So that sucks. Slam dunk. <laughs> yeah. All right. Do we have uh, another question on the table? Uh, yeah, there's one from a user that goes by that handsome Jack. Who's that? Um, he says, why is Jack so handsome? God, you know what? Wait, that, what? That, that is a good question. There was a handsome Jack that commented and said, why is that handsome Jack? Why am I so interesting? Handsome? That is interesting. You know, I think I'm really handsome because... <laughs> no, that's, <laughs> it's, that's me. I just wanted to see what would happen if I... Yeah, no, that was me. 
<laughs> All right. Speaking but, of wait, speaking of which, a lot, some guys in the comments uh, have been saying that your beard looks a little shorter. Does it? I've had this microphone in front of it the entire time. Did I? Did, does it look shorter to you guys against this dark? I don't know. Does jacket? it look shorter? I don't know. It's. It looks like perhaps uh, someone. You know, maybe your boy might have taken some clippers to it yesterday. Yes, yes. My beard has been trimmed. Uh oh. We wanted to show you guys what my beard kind of looks like before we do the big trim tomorrow. We're going to be shaving it off tomorrow. Actually, everyone in this room, well, I, most, of, yeah, no, everyone in this room will yeah, be man. taking part of that. Yeah. Yeah, so. We've got something fun coming. It's going to be fun. It'll come out on Friday. But yesterday, Eric was in town. He just left for L.A. for the week. But he wanted to be part of the process, too. So we decided to shoot a part one of the video, which will be part of it. It won't be like a whole bunch of videos split up. But he wanted to trim it down into a natural beard. So this is what would qualify as the beard brand natural beard. And what essentially my beard would have looked like if I had gotten, gotten trims more often. So yeah, yes, it is trimmed. The sides are gone and it feels amazing. I was actually able to sleep in my pillow last night without getting beard hair in my eyes. He did a good job. Yeah, he actually did, he good, did a good, good job. job. And I'm looking back on yeah. the footage of that. I'm like, huh, Eric could actually be a barber. <laughs> Not bad. But yeah, so Eric did take it down. I think he put a six on there and eventually worked it down to perhaps a four in some spots. But he freehanded a lot of it. He did do a lot of freehanding in there. Um, didn't touch the mustache, you know, nothing in there. But tomorrow, the whole situation is going down. All right. Yeah, man, and that's uh, that's getting close to the end of your beard year series. So yes, it is. And let's can, do. We're all starting. Cry, we're all starting the crying process now a little bit. Let's do one more winner, and then I've got something I want to tell some people on here, all right? All right. Winner number three is Michael Ray. Michael. Hey, Michael Ray. Michael Ray. Excellent. Congratulations, man. Where are you at? Where are you at, you got to let us Ray. know in the comments that you're here. So let's get Michael Ray his last thing. Let's make sure he's here first, and then we'll, we'll have this big reveal of what comes next, because I've decided yeah, I've, to... Yeah, I've seen a lot of people are confused kind of about the timing of the shave. Yeah, they probably we could probably share a little bit about Yeah, let me give you guys works. a little bit of a background. I may say this in the final video is so the year actually was if you go back and watch that very first video, the year actually started on October 16th, 2017. Okay? Oh, there that you was last Friday. That was October 20, uh, 16th, 2018. So it officially ended last Friday, you know, which was technically week 51 for the series. But the series wasn't officially created until the week after I shaved it because we did a we let the beard grow for a week and then it started okay so if you go back to that wet shave tutorial that's technically year week zero all right so there you go it's already over the year was already completed last Friday and I probably should have mentioned that but <laughs> here we are yeah that's okay um, but you know what I we decided to stretch it out one more week and uh, not just go like okay let's just film it or shave it off camera or just do one shave in a barbershop or whatever but what we're doing is here in the Beard Brand Studio, we've got a little barbershop area set up, and we're going to have everyone here on the team that wants to be a part of it come over and shave one of the different styles into my beard that we've all talked about. Uh, so you guys will get the chance to see what my beard looks like in various different styles from people who've probably never shaved a beard before. <laughs> and it's it's going to be fun. So far, we've done one, and it's it's been really cool. I mean, it's kind of weird watching back the footage and like seeing my face on just like, just shocked just sad looking my eyes are all red that's awesome i'm looking forward to that but that it's, comes it's out fun. this friday right it comes out this friday and we're cool. gonna film it tomorrow we're gonna film the there rest of go. it tomorrow um we've already filmed the beginning but man let me tell you so we discussed this a little bit before about what comes next and at the expense of everyone that was kind of happy that i was shaving i'm gonna grow it right back yeah yeah <laughs> And I'm not just going to grow it right back. I'm going to do No Shave November. Hey! I'm going to be doing it with Greg Brzezinski. I'm not going to spoil what's going on with him, but we are. he and I are together going to be doing something uh, pretty cool. So I'm Awesome, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. It's going to be so fun. So we'll, we'll do like another second part to the uh, the year, like a little miniature version of it. There you go. Nice. So I won't be completely gone, guys. Well, I know people were scared of, that I was going to leave. Yeah. In the vein of good news, Michael yes. Ray is here. Hey! hey. hey. And with Congratulations. That, Michael Ray is here. Gong him. Gong him. So, I didn't cheat. Everyone thought I was cheating the year. It, the year was officially over. Don't worry. But, yeah, it is. It's pretty wild that it's finally over, man. That's cool, man. It's, it's been well, a congratulations. Yeah, thank that's, you, man. That's an incredible feat. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Go for the year. Yeah. Dude. Yeah, just do it. Patchy year. <laughs> yeah. Let's see how that looks. 
But no, it was it was a good experience, and it gave me the opportunity to be a part of the Beard brand, like face value. Yeah. You know, if, yeah. if that makes any sense, because yeah. originally, you know, I wasn't in the videos. Now I have something that I can stand behind. There you go. So, do we want to end off with one more question? We'll get out of here, and then we'll uh, we'll call we'll put a pin in it. Oh wait, let me get back to it. Yeah, let's let's pull those up and let's. You caught us off guard. Yeah, keep you guys on your toes. <laughs> it's confirmed. Greg's gonna shave his beard. People are freaking out. Um, I got a few of these from yeah. Centeno305. Okay. Um, he says, can we see urban barbershops? I'm guessing more so like beard brand barbershops or something along that line. Urban barbershops. Oh, okay. I think what he means is like kind of the contrast of yeah. uh, what we usually feature, which is um, kind of an English, kind of um, old school, World War One style uh, barbershop with you know older machines. He's talking more like the street kind of style. Yeah. We like do an- kind of feature that a little bit with Men's Club in Philadelphia. Yeah, I would. And you know what? A little bit. You know why I think we, we don't feature it often? It's because I put that video up last Saturday and nobody watched it. <laughs> we did a lineup video and no one cared. Really? And it was a great haircut. Oh, man. We did it even with Jake the Barber, who's um, who's a really talented barber. Actually, one of the most viewed barbers on the channel. We, he did a fantastic uh, trim on a more urban style of haircut and no one watched it. So if you go guys watch wanna, it. Yeah, go watch that video and justify it. <laughs> So if people aren't watching that type of video, you know, I don't know, man. People watch the fade videos the most. That's the thing is everyone really likes the haircuts that we feature. Yeah, I think uh, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe one day we can do maybe like, eventually, uh, but we as can right experiment. Now, but it's, right it's now, it's not priority yeah. number one. I no. think we'd rather focus on, you know, doing what we do best and showing something a little bit different because there are a lot of great channels out there that do feature that style. Yeah, there are. We kind of, you know, as we said earlier, march to the beat of our own drum, and we don't really want to copy anyone else. So that's why we don't normally feature urban stuff. But check out last vid- week's video on the lineup. Give that some views, all right? Let Jake know that he's still loved. Yeah, let him know we love him. All right. With that being said, man, I think we'll uh, we'll call it a day on this is it, one. Is it done? Are we done? I yeah. think we're done. We actually went five minutes over, yeah? Yeah, we, we got the full hour in here. I don't know about five minutes over. It's like we're, we'll, we're, yeah, yeah, we're right at that hour. Time, yeah. Now. All right, guys. Well, hey, man. It was good to uh, see everybody. Good Absolutely. chatting with you as always. As always, man, next give week, me some we'll good fall back. tips. I'll give myself a, a top coat There we for go. next week. There we go. And next week, oh, man. Actually, I didn't even think about that. Next week, I won't have a beard. You won't have a beard? I won't have a beard. Tune in I'll for be, that. I'll be completely shaving until No Shave November there happens. There you go. Holy cow. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Congrats to our three winners. I'll get you guys your prizes after this. And uh, with that being said, keep on growing. Gong us out of here, Jack. Gong us out. <laughs> Bye-bye. I hope I didn't break that. (laughs) (laughs) Do-do-do-do-do-do.